two days sail from Sardinia, we are still a bit short from arriving at the island of Menorca. We had a beautiful and dry sunset at sea. In the morning, we were greeted by slowly rolling seas and a bit of a headwind as our boat bobs along at about five knots of speed. Everyone is really anxious and excited to make landfall, especially at the island of Menorca. Since leaving Greece almost two weeks ago, about 90% of the time we've been traveling has been during one storm or another, with big rolling waves and lots of wind coming from every direction. The crew is especially excited to make landfall because it means we are taking a planned 10-day break. We have some minor repairs and adjustments to make to the boat, and the crew just needs a break from the weather as well. But before making landfall, it was time to retire the Italian courtesy flag and hoist the Spanish courtesy flag from the starboard spreader, something sailors fly as a sign of respect for their host country. Flying a Spanish courtesy flag is acknowledgement to other sailors that we will respect the laws and sovereignty of Spain while we are passing through their waters. While it might be tempting to fly all the flags of all the nations you visited, like stickers on an RV, it is not considered proper sailing etiquette to do so. Finally, we spot land and everyone is very excited, not only because we are all tired, but because Menorca is supposed to be a really special place to visit. We will be staying for about 10 days in a small city named Mahon on the island of Menorca while part of our crew returns to Greece. The entry to Mahon is nothing like we've ever seen before. The picturesque entry is a fjord-like entrance with buildings and old fortresses along the very long entrance to the bay, which takes about 40 minutes to motor through until we reach the town of Mahon. Mahon is at the end of one of the longest natural harbors in the world. The harbor is about five kilometers long. That's about three miles. The island of Menorca has a very long history with many conquerors and has been raided and controlled by several countries and empires. Today, Menorca is under Spanish rule as a part of the Balearic Islands. Suddenly, someone called out, dolphins, and everybody ran outside to see one of the best things about sailing. After we finally tied up along the quay, next to the very popular boardwalk along the seaside, we promptly got a rope wrapped up in our prop and Guy had to go swimming to free the line. 
Fortunately, the water isn't too cold and the line came clear after a few hard underwater pulls. As usual, we are in need of a few food items for dinner, so after we settled in, we headed off to a local store. The evening was beautiful and calm, and we thoroughly enjoyed our moment of tranquility. The next morning, Luca had to head up the mast to take some measurements for new standing rigging we are ordering. Sailboats have standing rigging and running rigging. Running rigging is generally the soft ropes on a boat used to manage the sails. Standing rigging is generally the stainless steel cables you'll see holding the mast in place. There are three stainless cables, one on the starboard side, one on the port side, and one inside the furled jib sail. There are also three stainless cables in a diamond shape just around the mast, and those were fine. It's the outer two that had developed small cracks in them that had to be replaced. And since this is not something that is repairable, we opted to replace both sides at the same time. After seeing Luca safely back on deck, Guy and I headed out to explore Mahon. The first thing we wanted to check out was the old replica ship we saw not far from our boat. The ship's name is El Galleon, and it was built to show how these legendary Spanish galleons were used for three centuries to unite Spain with America and Asia. After seeing the ship, we passed an art gallery and couldn't resist poking our heads inside. After walking around the small city for about 30 minutes, it dawned on us. Mahone is the cleanest city we've ever been in. It's cleaner than Disneyland. In fact, every morning, rain or shine, a street sweeper passed our boat and cleaned both the sidewalk and the street. As we said in our Palermo video, he and I just like to wander around new places, and since we have our phone, we never feel like we can get lost, so we just follow our noses, literally. And it was time for another snack. We found cookies. Yum. Walking around the historic old city was really fun. The old city is mostly all up off the water, and views are very easy to find. The old cobble streets are still in place and the old buildings have been kept up nicely. And they get bonus points for having a very active cycling community. Our first walk through the old streets told us one thing, that we're gonna to have to do a lot more exploring in this old city. Museums, Old churches, paths, gardens, parks. We have a lot to see and a full 10 days to do it. The same night we had dinner right across the street from our boat. This was our last night with Luca, Marta, and Alessandra for a while as they were heading back to Greece for 10 days. We couldn't help but feel the winds of change were in the air. What? You're walking around carrying groceries again. I know. It's in another country. My other occupation. <laughs> Grocery shopper. We're it's our America. other form of entertainment. So far, experience in Mahone was all that we imagined. What? an amazing place to be able to spend 10 days. As the sun went down on our second night moan, El Galleon went motoring by and into the colorful sunset. It seems like there's something poetic to say here, but we'll leave that to you in the comments. We'll see what you come up with. Hey everyone, as always, we want to thank you so much for checking in and watching our videos. Yeah, thanks for spending some of your day with us. We really appreciate it. 
If you've ever thought of going to Menorca, it's a wonderful place to go. Yes, we wish we could have sailed there in the summer, but due to circumstances, we weren't able to. But Didn't work out. No, but it was still absolutely beautiful. And check out the Balearic Islands. Um, I know we're going to check them out for someday. Someday we'll come back yeah. and visit these pl this place. Wonderful uh, place. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Sailing Blackbird. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We want to give a long overdue thank you to our viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You really do keep us going.